Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Scrap Mechanic. Today we are here with a brand new series. Today we are starting the underwater base. This is something that some of you guys were suggesting that I try and do here in Scrap Mechanic, and I really was not sure how I was going to do it, but I think we figured out a couple cool things here, so I'm going to show you the start of the base. This was actually quite a few hours. Uh, that I put into it, but we're nowhere near finished yet. So I do want to hear feedback from you guys, so comment below with suggestions for the base. I hope you enjoyed that little intro showing you as to a little bit of what you're going to see here today, uh, but we'll go over everything in more detail here. But remember folks, if you are enjoying Scrap Mechanic, leave this video a thumbs up, it helps out my channel, and let's jump right into this. Alright, so first and foremost, I have to mention the water part. This was the challenge uh, when I was thinking, how am I going to do an underwater base? Well, I was aware that Durf, of course, has a water block. Now, it's not actual water. It's just a surface, and it actually covers all the way past the invisible wall. And it's just like a single layer. It's a flat layer. It looks like water. You can go right through it. There's no collisions to it. So you can build right through it too. So that's what I'm using. Now I've done a couple tricks under the surface here to make it look like you're underwater. So when you use, I've got an elevator and a little underwater section already built. So when you, you're you in those, it actually kind of looks like you're underwater. It's It was a tricky thing and I was really afraid that it wasn't going to turn out good. And I, I almost wanted to scrap the whole base idea at one point, but I'm really glad I went through with it. But first things first we need to go over the surface here now there's a really just a pretty basic facility up here I probably will add some more based on the feedback that you guys give but you've got the uh, main building here this actually leads to the elevator that takes you underwater uh, we'll go in this last one we're ready to go under uh, you can see a satellite dish up at the top uh, mr. Scrubmaster built that I definitely want to thank him it's actually pretty cool so yeah, you've got that. I was thinking, all right, well, how are we going to get to this facility that's way out in the middle of the ocean here? Well, my two thoughts are, of course, by boat or by helicopter. So this kind of reminds me of an old, or I wouldn't say old, an, an offshore oil rig. How they have like a helipad a lot of times will be mounted on the side of it. So yeah, we've got a helipad out here. Now the helicopter here is not new. This is actually on... I think mine and Mr. Non-Newtonian's workshop, this is actually just the prison helicopter. I'm probably going to build another helicopter for this area, or we might just repaint this one. I don't know how much we're actually going to use it, not unless we maybe put in another platform somewhere else. But yeah, uh, if you were to fly in workers up here, guests, or even supplies, you can fly them in, land them on the helipad here. Uh, the helipad also has a little fire system over here, you can see the hose. Uh, just in case something were to go wrong on this whole thing. So yeah, you've got that. Over here, this is a service slash storage elevator. So if we were to get something off the helicopter, we're not going to actually put it through the building and down the uh, the elevator over here. We've got a little bit bigger one on this side, which I would like to create some sort of forklift. Maybe some sort of underwater forklift uh, that we could actually load and unload stuff from the elevator. So yeah, you got a lever over here, you just hit this, and elevator goes down. Let's try not to fall here. And it goes all the way down to the bottom. Now, we'll have to build some sort of garage uh, down there for storage, but it goes all the way down, and you can unload. We might actually ride that one down. We're going to ride the main one, but we might take this one down too. This is a pretty cool elevator. So yeah, we've got that. Uh, we've got a catwalk started. I would like to extend this catwalk to kind of surround the whole... Uh, main building here, but we'll walk under here. Uh, you can see the supports for the main building uh, They do go all the way down now from an engineering standpoint. I probably need more supports uh, This thing would probably fall over, but we're in scrap mechanic and that doesn't matter So let's continue to walk over here now. This little area is pretty neat uh, Mr. Scrub Master built a mini sub and if you look really close this one is actually really really close to the one that's in GTA 5 uh, I think the one in GTA 5 is orange but as far as the way it looks uh, this is pretty darn close and this is pretty cool so what underwater facility wouldn't have some sort of mini sub and we've got a mini sub we've got a mini sub launcher right here and we have a crane here to pick the mini sub back up now the crane doesn't work and I'm gonna explain the reason why we don't need a working crane 
is the whole fact of this water, nothing floats on it. This is a hovercraft. You would have to hover up and try to grab onto it with the crane. And honestly, which the way scrap mechanic is, that would just be a laggy mess to try to get it to work right. So yeah, you'd have to grab the uh, mini sub and then put it back on the launcher. Now, we are for sure going to jump into this mini sub in a bit and actually launch it. Uh, you click this lever here. Uh, you can see the spider web. It drops those and drops you right into the water. So, you've got that. Uh, the catwalk leads around over here to a little power area. Now, this probably isn't sufficient enough to power a facility like this, but this is a start. Uh, we've got a couple solar panels. We've got a big generator over here. Uh, if you need to switch positions, just hit those switches there. It'll move the solar panels. I think the sun's... Oh, it's actually over there. I think we're in the wrong position regardless. Yeah, I probably need to turn those. you got a couple controllers here. Now, I do want this catwalk to wrap around. And I need a couple more buildings up here in the surface. Maybe... I thought maybe having like a security room or something else up here. So, we'll eventually wrap this catwalk around. Uh, but let's walk back this way. Now, I'm debating. Do we want to take... You know, we're not going to take the mini sub down. It's so tempting just to take it down, but we need to actually use the uh, the awesome elevator that I built over here to get down to the main part of the facility. Now, I haven't built much underwater yet. I was trying to figure out how I wanted that to look, and I've started, so I've got a good idea, but that's where I'm going to use your guys' feedback. But anyways, alright, now as far as some of the parts I'm using, you're probably going to notice there's a lot of parts in here that are not in Vanilla Scrap Mechanic. I'm using mostly Durf mods, and I'm using a couple Ikey mods. He's got like this door mod here. Uh, it's just going to make it so much easier to install doors, because sometimes the way I do them in Scrap Mechanic, uh, you can just, it takes a little too much effort or a little bit too many blocks or bearings uh, when I can do something as simple as this, just sticking one piece down. So let's go ahead and open these up here. Uh, the other mod I'm using, and I have to look it up, it'll be in the description. Uh, it's just a simple texture mod. There's a couple new blocks, and this is one of them here. This almost looks like a wood grain, uh, if you look really close, but it looks like a neat-looking tile to me. So, I definitely i am going to use this for the floors and the uh, underwater base, because it just looks like it fits for some reason. So, this is the main area to get down to the underwater base. You get a little uh, camera up here. Now, please excuse us here because we are under construction. There's a lot of stuff that needs to happen here. So you're going to see some of these signs out. Uh, one thing that's kind of cool about this area, let's go ahead and close those. And by the way, you can uh, flip the switch, uh, do the lights over here. Uh, one thing that's cool about these, uh, you can see we have glass here. And I thought it would be cool to be able to see under. And that's one really awesome thing about the, the water block is the, whole fact, the fact that you can see under it. So yeah, you can see some of the facility there, which is really awesome. So we'll head down there here in a second. So yeah, there's not really much else in this area here. Uh, let's go ahead and call the elevator up. Now the elevator is pretty slow, but it's because I wanted it to be slow. Uh, there's something about this transition from the surface to the water uh, that's really cool. So it's going to take a second for that to get up. Uh, we'll head down there. Alright, here comes the elevator. Now this is probably one of my favorite features. I just, I love elevators and scrap mechanic for some reason. Uh, they're really awesome. So, well, what we're going to do, we're going to step into here. It's going to close the doors. You got a little switch here. And uh, one thing I want you guys to notice, I've stuck lights all down this elevator. And there's sensors attached to each light. So when we pass by, it's actually going to light up this portion of the elevator. It's just a cool little effect that I wanted to do. So let's go ahead and close that. It's going to crank up that elevator music. And here we go. We're about to dip underwater here. So yeah, you can see uh, we're going to hit the sensor there. There's a light. There we go. And yes, we're underwater now. So this is kind of weird. And I wasn't sure this was going to actually look that good, but... I'm actually pretty impressed. There might be a couple more things that I can do to the elevator shaft to give it more of an underwater effect. And I'll show you guys what I'm doing once I step outside of the uh, little dome area that we have down here. And I actually investigate what's going on here. Because there's a little trick I'm doing with the glass to darken it up and make it look like you're underwater. So, uh, we're almost here to the bottom. Alright, here we are at the bottom of the facility. So yeah, that's a pretty good ways down. I built that little dock area up the top. It's uh, pretty far up. I would say maybe, maybe halfway up the skybox. I'm not 100% sure. So yeah, 
We can do that. Let's go ahead and let the elevator go back up. Just gonna close those doors there. And you hear the music start up. Uh, these are Durf Pistons. Uh, these really need to be in the game to me. Uh, they're pistons that can go, I think it's upwards of 256 blocks. And at first when I started to build this elevator, I didn't realize he had these pistons. And I started off with, I think, probably right around 20 pistons. And I was like, oh, well, we can get this done in four. I mean, I realistically, I think you can get it done in one. But uh, I went ahead and went with four here. So anyways... That's going up here. We've got the first little area in here. This is almost like an airlock uh, slash emergency shutdown area. Say if something were to happen in the, the base here, water were to get in, we can shut down and cut off right here. So let's go ahead and activate this. There we go. The doors are going to alternate here. Uh, in this, this is like a little area, almost like a little drainage, air filtration area. Uh, you can see the air conditioners down there. Let's go ahead and shut that. It's going to close this door here. Uh, we've got some little warning lights, and these doors are going to swap here in a second. There they go. Alright, so here we are in the underwater facility. Now, there is not much done down here. That uh, whole top side part took a long time to get it set up and set up properly. But still, nonetheless, it's pretty cool down here. Now, this is the tricks that I'm trying to play with the underwater base. If you look really close, it actually does appear like we're underwater. I've darkened the glass. Derf's got a paintable glass that I've layered on the outside of the normal glass to give it an effect like it's much darker down here, like it actually looks like water. So we're pretty far down. You can see the surface somewhat and where the line is, where the water block is. It's right to the top of that elevator. I've also lined the elevator from the water block down with the same glass and darkened it up so it kind of gives you a little transition of going underwater so we've got a very simple area in here right now it's just like a little observation area and this is where we're going to split off into hallways and we'll start the different facilities down here in the underwater part i think i might have like a, possibly like an administrative desk right here in the front and then uh we'll kind of break off in the other directions once we're uh once we really know what we're doing here. But this actually, this just looks really cool. This is one of my favorite things that I built in Scrap Mechanic. And it really wasn't until I got down here and started painting that I realized that this is actually really pretty special. So anyways, uh, there is not a way out of this yet without going back up the elevator. So we're gonna grab a seat here and I'm gonna show you guys uh, what's on the outside here. So we'll pop that down and let's hop out. There we go. And we're here on the outside. So yes, this is the layered glass. It looks quite a bit different uh, than when you're on the inside. It's a lot darker in there. So that's one of the cool little effects that I've done. Now, one thing I'm going to do, and of course, we're in the flat land here, and it looks really odd. So every time that you're going to have a window or an open area like this in the uh, underwater base, I'm going to try to put down this terrain uh, objects. I think this is an IT mod. Uh, it's got it to where you can place the trees and the rocks and if you look down I mean it kind of actually looks cool from up there uh, looking down you'll see rocks maybe a couple plants so I'm gonna try to fill up a lot of these areas with this stuff to try to make it look like a, a natural underwater environment so yeah you've got that uh, this will give you a little uh, kind of view of what's really gone on here to get this base up in the air so we've got uh, several sections here this is actually in two sections uh, this is the start of the new section. You can see the cut. I've camouflaged it pretty good on the inside, so you can't really tell the transition over to the new section. So yeah, you've got that. You've got the support pillars, all the uh, stuff for the elevators down here. Uh, it's really just a logic gate and a couple switches. Uh, Scrubmaster actually did a couple things here uh, to make the doors automatic. So yeah, you've got that. You've got a couple support pillars. I probably need to put some more pillars down here to make it look a little bit more sturdy. Maybe one below the helipad and one below the uh, sub launcher. So yeah, this is where the uh, bottom of the elevator is. Uh, like I said, I'd like to have like an underwater forklift system and maybe a garage over here that we can load stuff in. So yeah, we can go ahead and drop this elevator. And you can see it coming down. Here it comes. So yeah, it's pretty awesome. Uh, we're going to actually go over and hit the little sub launcher and show you guys that and uh, drive that sub around a little bit. Now, I always warn everybody, in Scrap Mechanic, I'm not the best pilot, so I'm probably going to screw this up a little bit, but let's, uh, let's take the uh, service elevator up. So hopefully I don't do uh, Scrub's uh, 
his sub a disservice here, but I probably will, and I'll probably, I'm probably going to crash it a lot. So, anyways, this is a little bit of a bouncy elevator. This is our uh, service elevator, and yeah, oh, here we go. That's actually a really cool transition. Let's let's do that real quick. Actually, I don't want to hit that down again. Uh, kind of show you where that surface block is. This will give you a better idea. We're going to watch the elevator go down, and you'll see it disappear below the water block. So, there it goes there. And you can see the glass that I was talking about on the elevator. So, yeah. Anyways, we are ready to go over here. Now, this sub launcher, actually, we're probably going to have to launch it first. Uh, we'll hop in the sub at the bottom of the ocean here. Uh, you can't actually make these things work together because it has to be detached. So, I guess you maybe could do that. I don't even know if you can do that with a wireless glitch. But, regardless, we're going to launch the sub first and then we'll jump in at the bottom. So... Uh, to launch the sub, it's simply, you hit this. Now, to get this sub on here, uh, if you guys are playing around with this area, you actually put a, a block down, or a, a line of blocks right here in the middle, and you set the sub with the lift on the line of blocks in the middle, and then you just delete the line of blocks and the lift. So it should set on this. So, let's go ahead and launch the sub real quick. There we go. It's gonna dump it. There goes the sub! <laughs> oh, man, I really wish we had water physics here. Yep, that just crashed down at the bottom, so uh, I guess we're going to jump with it. Uh, maybe I need to build a diving board or something, so let's go ahead and hop off. Here we go, and we're back below water. That is kind of weird, so yeah. Anyways, we have the Scrub Master sub here. Uh, this will be available on his workshop if you'd like to go check that out. I'll have it linked in the description, and let's hop in. Uh, we'll probably use our lift here. I think it's the only way in this thing. So let's go up here. Uh, it's actually really cool. It's got this little uh, knob up here. You just click that, it turns it, and we can hop in. It's got little warning lights letting you know it's on. Now, of course, we wouldn't have done this underwater. This would be a little bit dangerous. Actually, it probably is pretty well impossible to open a door like this underwater. So, yeah, we would have already been in this thing. Let's go ahead and hop down in it. Close the hatch. Nice and cozy here. This is a single-person sub, so you hop in the front here. It's actually got a really cool first-person camera. Got a nice little view. Uh, maybe, maybe we could install maybe some side windows and make it a little bit easier to see out the sides. But anyways, the one key is the hatch. The two key is your hover. So you can see it hovering here. It drives off WASD. Uh, you can see with the, uh, the W, you can see the propeller going. Now, there's kind of two ways uh, he told me how to stabilize this thing. Uh, let's go ahead and put it down real quick. Uh, the one key, I mean, you can kind of spam the two key to try to keep it level. And there's like an extra bit of thrust here with the three key. And this thing will send it all the way up. Now, of course, this is moving way too fast. And uh, there's not really much you can do about it. Because, like I said, there is no water physics. It would be nice to be able to actually have this thing kind of float. So, the only thing I can think of doing is maybe slowing down the thrusters a bit. Uh maybe the upwards thrusters uh, the two thruster actually isn't too bad this is this is really doable so we could kind of spam this thing here you know i would like to actually see uh mr uh khan's got that uh oh 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 oh, oh, oh. i'm gonna crash here see this is what happens when i get distracted when i start talking while flying uh this stuff always happens and up oh, we might be stuck uh let's see let's get this thing on a lift real quick but yeah, Khan's got a sonar sub, and it floats pretty good, too. I actually would like to take it to the bottom here and try that out. And it seems like I'm stuck, so let me, uh, let's cut out a couple blocks here. You know, one day I'm going to be not terrible at flying things. But yeah, definitely a neat sub. Let's go ahead and power out here. Uh-oh. Oh, that might be too much power. Too much power! Oh, well, I guess you can get a little bit of a view of how far we are away from the base. Oh, 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 we need to kill this here and start heading forward. So yeah, that's definitely a cool little mini sub here. I would like to eventually build a big sub. Like I said, talking about Khan's a sonar sub, that's a pretty neat one. So uh, maybe that's something we can use and try it out here on the bottom. But yeah, let's head back towards the base here and we're going to wrap this episode up. <laughs> oh, we are so far out of water. I thought maybe I could fly over the base here and just try to land us on it. That way we don't have to use any of the elevators. Uh oh, we might actually make it. Oh! <laughs> what? Alright, so you guys never saw that. We now have a new flyer that we built here, obviously. Uh, I meant to do that completely. Uh, I don't think I can get out of this thing. I'm going to have to cut a hole in the side of it. So yeah, 
Okay, so we're just not going to mention the whole fact that I parked the sub up on top of the facility here. So anyways, folks, that's going to about wrap it up for today's episode. I tried to build as much as possible, but like I said, this took a lot longer than I thought it would have. But I'm actually really proud of the results. I want to thank Mr. Scrubmaster. Uh, Non-Newtonian actually dropped by for a little bit and did a bit of building too. So uh, definitely thanks to him also. Uh, I hope to bring more of these episodes to you guys. It's going to kind of be based on the reaction of you guys and what you want to see. So don't forget to comment below with suggestions for the underwater base. And heck, if you want to send anything to the under, or for the underwater base, uh, I'll leave my email in the description. I'll probably flash it up on screen too. Uh, I don't really know what to tell you guys to make. You guys are really creative. So if you have anything you want to make for the base, uh, send it on over and I'll check it out. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you'd like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. I will put a download for this in the description and I'll list all the mods that are on the workshop that you would need to run this world. So if you want to do that, you can check that out too. But anyways, hope you guys have a good day and we will see you guys next time on Scrap Mechanic. Thank you.